Right, some people are so funny about um, hiding the face. Man, if you're so worried, don't come in a public place, hey? What do you expect? Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another video. So today, I am in Hoi An in Vietnam. Hoiani is actually famous for a lot of things, but today I'm going to explore the night market, which is also one of the highlights here. Now, Hoiani is uh, maybe half an hour, 40 minutes south of Da Nang, and uh, it's an old ancient uh, Chinese fishing village. And this place is so cool, there's so many lanterns here. You know, as I said before, it's, um, it's a lot of Chinese influence or, you know, cultural influence on this town, so that's why they had a lot of lanterns. Lantern in Chinese, are, you know, they believe that it brings happiness to the family. Hence, you see so many out here. This town is covered, it looks so pretty. And the vibe, I can literally feel it because as I'm walking towards uh, the night market, you can clearly tell the difference. Man, it's, it just changes from nothing to like, whoa, lantern light, all look pretty. Have a look. Man, what is this place? Man, it looks like a movie set, hey? It doesn't look real at all. It's just so picture perfect. Everything is like nicely set up. This is unreal. This has changed dramatically. Like when I was back there, like probably 500 meters from here, it was pretty like, you know, just a few people and then bam, it just changed. And now like I'm struggling to even walk across the road because there's people everywhere. But it looks cool. It's like a maze, you've got like a street going left, right and center. It's all over the place, but pretty in a, in a way. You see all these, uh, a tailor-made suit shops here. This is one of the another thing uh, people come to Hoi An to get the tailor for the suits here. And uh, apparently the turnaround is uh, one day. So if you order today, you can pick it up tomorrow. Or, you know, jacket. Oh, sorry, mate. The jacket, the pants and the shirt and all the kind of stuff. So that's pretty quick. Hey, sorry. Bam, 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 bam. God, I wouldn't want to be at this guy in this room. Man, I'd be so embarrassed sitting in one of those. The streets packed and being, you know, pushed around in these little rickshaws or whatever they call them. Man, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a lot of attention. Like, let alone, this is, this is hard. And sitting on those ones. There you go, mate. You go first. I got, I got all evening. I don't even know where to go. This place is just keep getting better and better. Look at the amount of people here. I mean, there's a lot of people in Asia in general anyway, but um, this is packed as well. Surprisingly, these guys are getting, getting through pretty good. Maybe I should start making the noise, beep, beep, beep. People think I'm a ritual. Oh, you actually worked. <laughs> That's a trick. 
if you, people are not moving away, you just start saying beep, 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 they'll probably think it's uh, one of those rickshaws and they'll just move. But man, this place is cool. Have a look. And uh, you can even get the uh, tailor-made bags and stuff, so you can say that's the color of the leather I want. This is this is how many pockets I want. Pretty much custom design yourself the bags and stuff. So hey, anything is possible in this little town. You pay and they will they will get it sorted. So the, apparently the suits and stuff they start from hundred dollars to all the way up, depending on the material and the style you choose. And the uh, same goes with bags and stuff. And even the shoes, so everything can get custom tailor-made. And the turnaround is one day. That is quick. That's work dedication. All right, man. It's, this place is not stopping. Let's keep going. There's so many people here, but it's kind of like a piece as well. Um, with that many people, are, you would expect some sort of, you know, the ambience of the noise of people chatting and talking, and there's a lot of people. And the quietness here is just weird. Apart from these guys, the beep beep guys, everyone else seems to be just minding their own business and perhaps uh, they're just enjoying it so much that they're not even talking. And that probably makes sense to me. If you're so mesmerized by the beauty that you're not even talking, that explains because, hey, this place is full of like, cool stuff. Have a look. Man, I didn't expect this night market to be this huge. It just keeps going as far as I can see from now. And I think I've already done a kilometre. Easy. And uh, this is like one street and there's like a crisscross on the both sides as well. I don't know, should I keep walking or should I just turn around towards the water? But that's where they do the lantern and stuff. You know what, I'm gonna take an exit, the next left, and uh, go towards the water because that's where they do the canoes and stuff under the bridge. So when I get there before it gets dark, let's cut it through. The next opportunity. What is this place selling? It looks famous. Oh, there's another famous thing about um, Koyan. Is the Kalo, 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 Kalo. I think it's called Kalo. It's a pork noodle soup. Hello, hello. What's up, bro? Yeah, the Kalo. That's really famous as well. Okay. Now I wanted to take the left exit, and uh, I can't see any. Before I like walk past like five of them. That's pretty cool. All right. So now we're approaching this uh, river. And this is the famous one because you would have seen in photos and videos as well. They do the canoes. Man, we're ready for this one, right? Here it is. What? <laughs> Man, what is this place? It can't be true, hey. It's so picture perfect.
Right, the mission is to cross the bridge. Let's see how long does it take to get from A to B. It's packed. I wasn't too bad, I think roughly two minutes. And it wasn't like a half the bridge going one way or the other, half the other. It was more like ants just crisscrossing and just figuring out. But anyway, made it. Wasn't too bad though. This place is just, you know, it keeps surprising me. It's keep getting prettier and prettier. Or in Vietnamese, you say, Deep. That means good, that means pretty, that means beautiful. Deep. So I found myself a spot here, right on the river, sipping on this, uh, I think, lychee tea or something. I don't know, something like that. But have a look at this one here. It's so cool. Sitting right on the river, overlooking the bridge. Man, this can't, this can't get any better. So that's where people are boarding these little canoes from. There's a bit of harbor there. I'll find out. Maybe I should do it one day. I'm here for another couple of days. So maybe one of the days I can actually get on the canoes in one of the evenings like this and uh, just, you know, have an experience. Now, what is this place? This is heaven, literally. It's so peaceful. The amount of people, but it's so peaceful. Now, as you can see behind me on both sides of the river, there are a lot of people. And most of them are actually trying to get on board these little canoes or little ship so they can take this little tour. Before I tell you anything about it, there's two ways to do it. The one is the wooden jetty behind me. It looks much safer, much convenient. But the line for that one goes all the way down to the road. It's significantly longer than the line right behind me, which isn't too bad. Now, the reason for the difference is with this line here, they only use this metal stair. Now, if you're not scared to take a risk, well, you can cut short time. About the boat ride, it's 150,000 Vietnamese dong per person. They're taking a boat for like 20 minutes across the bridge, bring it back. Another thing you can add to your little trip is see this little candle that's floating in the water? That's like a good luck candle. So you can buy them separately, 20,000 Vietnamese dong per candle. So with the candle, 170 altogether, without the candle, 150. Man, it's once in a lifetime. I'll be definitely doing it, probably not tonight but I'm here for another couple of days, but that's definitely on the list. Two options for you. With the risk, without the risk. Make a choice. Let's move on. Man, this place is so huge, I can't really decide which way to go. Um, I just have to make a pick. Probably this way. Well, this section here looks pretty, actually. Let's go explore this one here.
know, some people are so funny about um, hiding their face. Man, if you're so worried, don't come in a public place, hey? What do you expect? Just because someone's got a camera, you gotta hide your face. Man, everyone can see you. The camera's on the street. I don't know, people get really funny sometimes. There is some uh, festival going on at the moment, the, the holidays. Someone told me about it, that's why it's getting a little bit busier than normal. As you can already see, man, this place is huge. And this is only the night market part of Hoi An. Now, if you're thinking to do a day trip, I would say reconsider your option because, man, you gotta stay here for a couple of days, minimum. That's what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, we'll find out more about it as, uh, as I find more places and more stuff to do here. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the Hoi An Night Markets. Now, one question it's commonly asked or researched is, should you come to Hoi An for a day trip or stay here for a few days? Now, both options are possible. A lot of people come to uh, Da Nang and stay there and uh, drive to Hoi An. It's only half an hour, 40 minutes south of Da Nang. Uh, and it's possible to do a day tour, uh, even morning or evening, doesn't really matter. Uh, but I would say if you want to absorb the actual beauty of uh, Hoi An, you should definitely consider a couple of days should you have time. Uh, there's more stuff to do than just the night market. Night market is just one of the highlights. There's so many stuff to do and see which is a separate video or videos I should say itself. Now, if you find this video useful, don't forget to you know, press the thumbs up and ask me in a comment box if there's any questions. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, Press the bell icon so you get the notification for the next videos. Well, there'll be more stuff coming up, and I'll be enjoying my uh, local Hoi An beer, apparently, which tastes like dead yeast, just like any other beer to me, to be honest. But it's good, hey. I found myself a really good spot right on the street, overlooking the river. But anyway, I'll leave it to it, and I'll see you in my next videos. Until then, goodbye and take care. Have a look.